Welcome to part 6 of Farmers and Persons Board tutorial on product retention. In this part, we are going to look at how to add a new product and edit an existing one. We start with login. Once you log in, you go straight to new and edit products. It's this section here. You click new stroke edit products. In this part, you start seeing products that already exist in the system. That's, these are your products. You can click the edit button to edit them or you can even remove the product. Removing is not advisable. So to add a new product, you just click add. Uh, give it a, a trade name. Uh, decide whether it's local or foreign. Local means from uh, locally. Uh, give it an API. Yeah. Once you give it an API and the strength of the API, then give it an ATC code depending on what uh, the classification is. Then move to root of administration. I'm just selecting any of the ones that I find, not because that there's a drag like this in the first place. Then give it a dosage form, select a dosage form, select an appropriate uh, shelf life. Please note that the months are arranged up to 48, then two additional months were added later. So uh, the six months comes after 48. Uh, put the uh, shelf life, depending on the shelf life. Uh, choose the shelf life of the opening if it's applicable. Move to storage uh, conditions. Uh, storage conditions after opening. Then uh, put the category, is it a controlled medicine, general sales products, over the counter uh, medicine, pharmacy only or prescription only medicine. Remember, all the items you are adding are subject to evaluation. Then you come and put country of origin. Remember, if you said it is uh, local, you are supposed to select Kenya only. But if you said it's foreign, you can select any other country. You can type the name of the country to move faster. Then country of release, it goes without saying now, or will be Kenya again. Then put your registered batch size. Then product registration number. Uh, that you, you, you are given after registering the product. Then put the MAH of the company, the company that manufactures the product. Just picking any. My user ID remains as the user ID. Now at this point, I can save and return, or I can save and edit. Some things are going to happen here. You may choose an MH and the MH does not exist. Then you'll be required to come here and add a new MH. The procedure is the same, add the details, select the product, then save. So in this case, we are going to save this product. We save and return. And you can see PPMB DAWA has been added here. Now let's say I needed to add a new MH. I just come here and add the MH name, company, address, uh, telephone, email address, then I can select the product that I wanted. I know it is PPMB DAWA, so I just click here and type PPMB. It takes me to PPT, I want a PPMB 
dawa. Okay, it's not here. If it's not here, I can uh, I can refresh so that it, it reloads for me the the drug, uh, then come back and type. I put the email again. Then when I select here, I will now find PPMB, uh, PPMB DAWA. You can see it's here, PPMB DAWA. I select. Then I can save and if I want to add another uh, MAH or save and edit to edit anything. So I just click save and edit it takes me back there. And Simply, that's how you add a product. Now, it's important to associate this new MAH with your product. So you come back here, end it your product again, and then come and select the new MAH. So I select MAH as Moremi, and then save and return. <coughs> I can continue and add FPP manufacturer details, which will be done the same way and API details, which are also done the same way. Now, the other most important thing is to add the dosage pack and the fish pack, which you also do the same way. Thank you very much.